Hello everyone, it's Ethan from the Orlando Tours. We just came from Aquatica because they just opened a brand new kids area. We're gonna make this a separate video, but now we're here at SeaWorld Orlando on Thursday, May 18th. We were just at SeaWorld last Tuesday, the closing day of Poseidon's Fury Universal, and then we hopped over to SeaWorld to ride Pipeline for the first time. Then we were here later that Friday for pass holder previews. And then we were here this past Monday for another event with Pipeline. We have 47 rides on Pipeline so far. We're gonna do um, Pipeline three more times today. And we have a new attraction that's opened here at SeaWorld in addition to Pipeline. It's not new, but it just opened. So we're gonna head over there. We're gonna show you what it is. And I can't wait to head back into the park. It looks like Pipeline's actually got some new decor uh, as you re-enter the station. So I'm gonna go get uh, some footage of that too. And there's also a new pass holder benefit going on, a couple of new things going on at SeaWorld, so we're gonna go cover that for you guys, show you what's going on at SeaWorld. Let's head in. Coming up on the pipeline, you can see those new banners they added. They look old, but they just added them. And we're gonna go show you guys that later um, as we get a ride on pipeline. We're gonna do it a few times today. Before we do pipeline, we're actually gonna go ride Mako because it just reopened and it got a new paint job. And I can't wait to see how that looks. So over here we have a Passport to Summer, which is a brand new program, SeaWorld just starting now. And um, if you get, uh, the more you visit, the more rewards you get. So you get bonus pass holder benefits. So if you get two of these vouchers that you have to print out from the kiosks or you can get them at guest services, if you get two of them, you get a free bucket of popcorn. If you get more of them, you get like uh, special animal encounters. Uh, all day dining is one of them. And if you get 30 visits by June 30th, you get, um, a free dinner for two at the Sharks Underwater Grill, so that's really cool. And of course we have our SeaWorld Bucks, which is one of this month's benefits uh, this May. And another thing is, last update we were here, we showed you guys that um, the self-entrance ticket scanners have been removed and replaced back with the original ticket entrance scanners. We've now made it into the park, we've been here quite a lot recently. Um, so hopefully we'll get some rewards with that new system. 30 times by June 30th, that's going to be uh, 45 days from yesterday. So, um, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to complete it. We'll get some of the rewards though. Hopefully we'll get the all day dining. I have a feeling SeaWorld might extend the date a little bit, um, depending on how many pass holders, what their progress is. Um, but like I said, like this new system that they're doing with the, the, the rewards program, I really like it and I think it really encourages pass holders to come to the park more often. And yeah, it's really cool. I know I post my videos late, but tomorrow they have a special uh, evening with Guy Harvey. It's an RSVP event. You have to pay like $80. It's really neat that they do the, the up close experiences like that. Um, we're going to be at Bush Gardens tomorrow, so that'll be a fun video. Lots of stuff going on over there too. The uh, summer celebration or summer spectacular is going to start very soon. Um, we're going to show you guys that right by we, uh, when we pass by Icebreaker because they have some setup going on for the main stage. Very similar to Electric Ocean. They're changing the event up a little bit, adding more and enhancing the guest experience. I really like to see. Right now, since the Sea Lion Show is exiting, we're gonna show you an update with the new uh, coaster project for 2024. And here's a quick construction look at the 2024 coaster project. Lots of land clearing is underway right now. I have a feeling that everyone that got out of that show is heading over to Mako, but right now we have some uh, setup for Viva La Musica. This is the last weekend of the event special uh, Spanish music they're playing, they have special food items, as you can see. It looks really cool, got some lot of good entertainment and stuff around the parks to do, on the weekends especially. But yeah, I love the, the decor in the area. This is one of the concert stages. They have a lot of these banner type things around the area, just decor for the festival. And it goes all the way up until like Infinity Falls. And they also have a food booth down there by the waterfront as well. So they got stuff all around this area of the park. <laughs> there we have Mako flying by with the brand new paint colors. I cannot wait to hop on. It doesn't show wait time right now, but we're gonna hop in line. Just by walking through the key, you can see how freshly painted the supports are. And we're gonna go see the track. It looks very fresh. We need to get some rides on this. It's been a while. It's been closed for over a month.
uh, did a front row and a back row ride on Mako. Um, the line got kind of busy, but um, front row, we were able to really see that paint job, and it, it this thing was amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they did a really good job with the paint, and it looked really bad before they were um, before they shut it down for the paint job. Like, a lot of the paint was coming off, but they did an amazing job with that repaint, so I like to see it. Got a lot of food boots over here we're passing by. We're gonna head over to the pass water lounge and get a free soda from the soda machine. And then we're gonna head over to Pipeline. Over here at the Waterway Grill, we have free beer that's returned until July 7th. You can get samples over here. Pretty neat. Just got out of the pass water lounge. They're doing a cool deal on not at the pass water lounge. It's actually online, but you can get a discount of Scream ticket that is approaching. It's gonna open in September for Hallow Scream. But um, you can get a discounted ticket as a pass holder. Lots of cool benefits you can find around the park. Fun stuff in the pass holder lounge. But um, right now we're heading over to Pipeline. We're gonna get our 50th ride on it. We're at ride 47. Icebreaker's second train has been uh, stuck in refurbishment as they're removing the comfort collars. They already removed comfort collars from one train. Now, as you see on our last visit, and it's still there, the second train is on the track on the uh, right outside the maintenance shed. It's not being used right now, but it will be probably by this weekend. Right now they're running the one train, but hopefully they'll run the other one soon. As you can see over here, we have the stadium, which is going to be used. This was for Electric Ocean. It looks like they're getting ready for a summer celebration. Summer spectacular. Lots of decor is up around the stadium, and we have a cool prop in the centerpiece, and they've been doing rehearsals a lot too. We're probably going to have the fireworks show, and of course we have pipeline going, so... Yeah, it's really looking good, and I can't wait for this event. Yeah, like I said, the pass holder previews are still going on for Pipeline. They keep adding little uh, theming and little elements in the area from before it officially opens. Uh, the last two days they're doing uh, 12 hour shoots, commercial shoots for promotional stuff. They had a lot of the, um, some of the entertainment people at SeaWorld. They had uh, ru them ride Pipeline and fill in seats. That train looks pretty empty to me, so it should be a pretty short wait. Can't wait to hop on. As you can see, silver, or not silver, uh, platinum and gold can ride it right now. Silver passes should ride it, I think, this weekend they can start riding it. Um, it's really cool that pass holders get to ride this thing early. It's such a good ride. And I love the music in the area, the surf music. I love all the theming, especially with all the sand as well. They also have this alcohol beverage stand open as well. So you can have some fun on Pipeline and then get uh, some alcohol. Even if you don't have one of the passes eligible for riding the attraction, you can uh, still enter this whole area, even if you don't even have an annual pass. You just need an annual pass to ride the attraction. We're probably gonna stick to the back row today. Might even do the front, depends on the weight. There's not really a long queue going on over here, but this thing's amazing. Here are the brand new banners inside the station. So the ride went down for over an hour and they just added these surfboards the other day. And what? We're down again. Yeah, people were working on the trim and then I don't know if it was the on-ride photo or the trims that were messed up. But yeah, then we got a ride, it opened up and now it's closed again, it went delayed. This path is not open yet. We're exploring the little area over here. But yeah, we're probably about to head out since the ride went back down. We're at 48 rides now total. Almost at 50 rides. This whole area looks really cool, tons of cool views, and it connects to the stadium, which is going to be used for that summer event. And I was graying out on this today, that it was hauling, it was moving quick. 
But yeah, all this uh, oh, the summer celebration stuff's getting all prepped, and it's looking great. This whole area is really nice, and yeah, looks like they're repainting some of the supports over here too. It does seem that they're about to send a train of riders, so it's about to reopen, but there's also a line. We'll come back and get our 50th ride. They also did add uh, bigger coolers for um, more belongings in the station, and of course we have the banners as well. And that's gonna do it for us today. From SeaWorld, we got to show you guys some pass holder benefits, stuff going on with the new uh, program, the summer VIP benefits. And then um, of course, we got pipeline previews and make a reopen. Uh, this video might be a little longer than I expected, but probably not too long. But yeah, we are heading out now. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna be posting this video pretty late. And we're also gonna have content on my other social media channels. So you're gonna wanna check that out on Twitter, at Ethan Hershaft, on Instagram, at Ethan Hershaft, and at Florida Theme Park Picks, and also on TikTok, at Ethan Hershaft. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.